Welcome, everybody, to this week's podcast episode. And as you know, we talk about freedom, so financial, location, time, emotional. And today I have a interesting guest. His name is um, Ashton Martin, and he's motivating through quality music. So he's an artist, and um, he's uh, creative, and it was going to be all talking about the music industry, artistry, and uh, go from there. So welcome, uh, Ashton, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me as well. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know uh, we met through Podmatch, and what's interesting is you know, we talk about, you know, creatives and um, you, you having, you know, music and what I think is, you know, a lot of um, independent artists, that they're the most creative. So uh, mm-hmm. tell us uh, how you got started and we'll go from there. Okay, so um, I was pretty much raised around music. Uh, my dad was a songwriter, choir director. Uh, my grand, my, my grandmother was also sang in a choir as well. My grandfather played the guitar, um, and my auntie was a gospel singer as well. Um, so that's what kind of got me started in music itself. Um, and I always had an early interest, like my parents. For Christmas, really, all that I got was like CDs. You know, that was like the thing for me as a child. Most children like want toys and, you know, things of that nature. I was always just wanting CDs and I was happy. Um, and then from there, it kind of grew into um, as I got older and started experiencing more things in life, I kind of um, picked up the writing method as far as like an outlet. You know, that's what it began with, um, just kind of like just expressing myself and expressing the things that I was dealing with. Um, By uh, middle school, I got into, uh, you know, freestyling and actually starting the beginning stages of composing songs. And then, um, you know, after a while, it was just something that I had an interest for. About 2019 is when I say I always took my career. um, See, actually a little bit before that, I say 2017 is when I started to take my career serious is that actually um, be in a career. It's when uh, my wife, um, now wife, but um, also my manager started to manage me. And uh, from there, we kind of took it in the motions of making it a, a full time career. Uh, but, yeah, that's that was kind of like the beginning stages of it. Yeah, it's a very interesting story. And, um, you know, what's interesting is that um, um, one is uh, one thing is talking about, you know, music. And then um, what uh, what is your creative process? So um, I'm kind of scatterbrained. Uh, my creative process varies depending on the environment I'm in, depending on the mood that I'm in, and depending on the type of mood I'm trying to create. So um, usually um, I work, I don't produce myself, but I work really close with my producers. So they always like creating me um, instrumentals or, you know, different instruments or bass pieces of songs to start off with. And sometimes I'll listen to it and see what, what it brings me to. Um, sometimes I may just immediately just write off of an emotion if I catch an emotion but a lot of times my creative process is pretty reflective Um, it's hard for me to create while in an emotion but it's easier for me to look back at it because I get a full like um, you know how they say um, you know hindsight is 2020 I kind of get the more clearer or perspective of the way I was feeling and the reason I was feeling that way so that's usually how I create the space I create from but sometimes it is just in in the emotion sometimes it's in the moment um yeah okay interesting yeah um it's uh you know I really love the how you um really just uh you know creative process you know some people uh you know have to do it early in the morning you know have some have to be like isolated in a cabin um that's so and then what have been your um biggest musical influences um it's been a lot of different ones but to be honest with you my biggest ones are actually people that were like I seen growing up like right in front of me of course you know you have the the uh people you see on tv um, the people that you purchase their music or, you know, get their music um, by, by whatever way you receive it. But for me, it was people that I grew up seeing, you know, like I said, um, so watching my dad do what he did, watching my grandmother, my, my auntie, um, watching my cousins. My cousins were the actual first rappers that I ever seen around the city. And um, some of them started to create a buzz and just watching them is what really inspired me to want to actually do it. Because in the beginning, it started as like, um, In my family, um, it was a generational gap. So up until I came, everybody was older than me. Um, And so I was always trying to seek um, the approval 
you know, yeah. you know, uh, as a as a young boy in my culture, it starts with sports, you know, and everybody kind of pushes you to sports. And if that's not the, the biggest thing, so you try to find something else. And then when I seen that I had this talent, it was like the first thing that um, a lot of them looked and was like, yo, it's pretty cool, like pretty is something that I feel like, oh, I'm accepting now. So it made me want to work on it and get better and get better. That was like the uh, the biggest thing. But they were the biggest influences to me, just seeing the people that were around me. A lot of different local rappers, um, a lot of local R&B artists, wow. um, a lot of um, even even blues singers. You know, it was I was it was such a melting pot of um, different different um, genres. And, and just seeing it firsthand is what made me kind of like really wanted to actually do it, because um, I feel like as a kid, you only know what you see. So uh, when people ask me growing up, what did you want to be? I didn't really know because I only seen certain things and I'm from a certain area um, where it's kind of rural. So you don't see a lot of things um, as much as you would like see growing up in the city. So, um, you know, I, I didn't know what was really possible, but I seen that firsthand um, and I knew like, OK, this is pretty cool. I think I would like to do something like this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, and then the other thing is. Um what is the state of the like the music industry so the music industry is in a very unpredictable state i feel because um i think people are starting to realize what the music industry truly is i, I think before it was kind of seen as this big um like this big black veil of people that you don't really know that control everything but really you know, the, the big execs and the big A&Rs are only like maybe five to 10 percent of what the industry actually is. And the industry really is just the artists and the people and the consumers. And so now uh, people are realizing that. So now it's more direct. So, you know, people can can easily tap in at the type of music that they want. You're not really like like back in the days, you kind of had to listen to what was around you, what was on, you know, what I'm saying what you had access to. Now you have access to anything. So it's like I feel like it's so many different ways so many different lanes and then like you got genres now but it's even it's it's so many multiple genres within genre like even saying like me what i do rapping hip-hop it's so many different genres inside of hip-hop it's kind of like it makes room for everybody because even though you may do it it's like you if the more unique you are with it um the more it sets you apart and it kind of like it, it's easier now to build um, like a, a cult fan base or a core fan base. Um, the one thing I will say that's harder now is the fact that everyone does music. So it's kind of like competition wise, um, you really have to learn how to set yourself apart and really, really hone in your craft. And like, you kind of really got to know who you are and what you, what you want to do in the industry, to be honest with you, um, because it's easy to get lost in everything else and so many scams and people telling you how to do it and how not to do it. Yeah. What is uh, life as an independent artist like? So uh, life as an independent artist, um, it's kind of like you, 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 it's almost like life as an entrepreneur, to be honest with you. Um, it's, it's like you finding not only your, your craft, um, but it's kind of like you having to learn, obviously we live in a, in a, in a society that thrives off of finances so you have to learn how to build finances and so um as an independent artist you kind of find different ways of bringing finances on top of music because obviously even for major artists streaming music isn't their biggest source of income so it's like um you may you may have to figure out how to do shows um and going through uh, in the beginning, it was just going through different shows in the city to build a name up to eventually you get to the point where it's like you can command your own crowd in certain areas. So you know that you you command that. So it's like I don't perform as much as I used to. Uh -huh. But in, in the beginning stages, that used to be my daily grind, like weekly, I'll say not daily, but it, it'd be a lot of days out of the week. I'm, I'm hitting it night by night, open mics, any anywhere they have anything going on, like I'm trying to go there grind network and um you know now it's more um kind of spaced out a little bit more um now that I, i've learned how to build other sources of revenue it's kind of like i'm not as um focused on or dependent i'll say i'm more dependent on, i can i can create a little bit more as I, I want to um so now it's more so just um focus more on the creativity um when it is something a show coming up kind of like preparing for it um uh -huh. we put bigger production in the show 
shows now. So it's like it, it, it takes more preparation. So I have to make sure that um, um, I'm knowing the material that I'm performing. I'm making sure that if I'm performing with a live band or something of that nature, we're doing practices, making sure they're on point, making sure they're they're um, getting what I want to get across as well. We're on the same page. Um, we also, for my team, we do weekly meetings. So, you know, the weekly meetings for us is really just a, uh, like team building, like making sure that everybody's staying motivated. Cause I think throughout the day as an independent artist, that's the biggest thing is just making sure that you stay motivated. Cause it's so easy just to lose that motivation because as creatives, we have cert a certain type of mind. It's like, um, it's almost on the brink of like uh, genius and, and insanity. It's like you constantly are right there. So it's so easy to like fall into depression and anxiety that you have to uh, make sure that you uh, keep a watch on your mental health, especially if you don't have nobody that's kind of helping you. So we kind of help each other on that. Uh, we also have one-on-ones. My manager conducts one-on-ones with each, each one of us, just, you know, talking about individual goals, uh, things of that nature. Um, and then we also have like team building, just exercises. Sometimes that'll be us meeting up because uh, half half of my team is here in Atlanta and the other half is back in Florida where I'm from. Yeah. So um, we, 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 you know, that, that, that time together actually being together is important. So we make sure that we do that at least once a month and, you know, also grind with it too while we, while taking advantage of the time while we're together, just, you know, going out and um, doing something, maybe do a media run, maybe, you know, and um, sometimes we'll pick just a city that we don't have like no um, audience in and kind of like, okay, let's go and attack that city. And so we just go and, and, and grind it out over there for a period of time and, you know, go back to their, you know, their places. So Interesting. Wow, it's quite very interesting how you um, approach it and how you approach culture and value. Um, you know, uh, I know a lot of audience are interested in, um, you know, visiting you, connecting with you, uh, hearing your music. How can they do that? Yeah, so... Um, on streaming platforms, it's it's it's, it's Ashton Martin everywhere. Uh, my social platforms are the same as well. It's Ashton Martin on every social, um, and that's how you can stream and um, find my socials as well. Yeah, and for the all the listeners out there, um, Ashton's um, uh, links will be in the resources and show notes. So, uh, Ashton, thanks so much, and um, we look forward to hearing about you more. Thank you so much, Christopher. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And...